Okay, so the hard barrier to build and construct AI application without knowing to code has been completely destroyed in the last days by no one else than OpenAI. As some of you might have seen if you watched the OpenAI Dev Days keynote, OpenAI released super powerful new features and one of them is Assistant. It allows you to create your own ChatGPT for specific purposes. You can add a name, instructions on how it should behave, and custom documents. You can also add your own functions, but we will come back to that later in another video. In this video, I will show you what you can do with it without spending any money, only pennies, and without any coding knowledge, I promise. So continue watching because it's going to absolutely blow your mind. The first step for building assistance is to go to platform.openai.com. Soon we will be able to use it directly inside ChatGPT, but for now we need to go to the playground. The good part of that is that we don't need to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. But don't leave this video quite yet, I will show you what you can do in there. I will be showing you three assistants that I built and discovered how powerful that new feature is. So let's start by creating our first assistant. I have been following some YouTubers for years and one of them is Ali Abdal, which does videos about productivity, finance, entrepreneurship and a lot of other topics. I want to create an assistant fed on the content of his videos to be able to directly speak with an AI version of him. And Ali, if you are watching this video, thank you so much for inspiring all of us with your amazing content and please, please don't sue me for this video. <laughs> so now let's dive into it. In the left sidebar, you can click on Playground and then select Assistance in the top drop-down menu. Now you have to main screen to create Assistant and it's really intuitive. In the name, you can add the name of the AI Assistant. Here I will set it to Ali Abdal YouTube Chatbot. I know it's not really original, but that's only what I come up with. And then you can add a description. So here we will say, you are a QA bot for Ali Abdal's YouTube channel. Use the transcripts to answer questions as best as you can. You will use Ali Abdal's tone and voices. If the content is not available in the transcripts provided, you will still try to answer the questions the best you can, using his content that you know of. If the content is not available, you will specify it in your response. For the model, you need to use GPT-4 11.06 Preview. That's the new one that they just recently released and that works with Document Retrieval. And finally, you need to enable Retrieval. That allows you to upload files and interact with them. Now I need a file to upload, so I will go to one of his YouTube video and download the transcript. That can be done directly inside YouTube by clicking on the show transcript button in the description and then toggling the timestamps. Now I can copy all of the content of the video and paste it into a text file. I can then click on upload and add the text file I just created. Let's save it and try it. I copied the text of his video called 9 passive income ideas, how I can make 27k per week. So I'm going to ask AI Ali, I would like to start a side hustle and earn some passive income. What do you recommend me to do? You will also tell me how difficult each of your solution is. I press add and run and boom, I directly get the answer. The answer is actually pretty good and reflect what he said in his video. It also tells the difficulty as I was asking it to do. It was a pretty straightforward example, but you got the idea. I could also use the functions to fetch it on YouTube directly, and I will be publishing new videos in the next weeks about how to fully use the playground and other AI tools. So if you like this type of content and want to explore more about AI, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumb up. It really helps. Now let's go back to our chatbots and explore another use case. So you might have seen some of my previous videos about how to build ChatGPT with your own data. And it was quite technical. Assistant allows you to do exactly that without knowing what a vector store, LLM or embeddings are without installing Python and all of that. So if you're still curious about how to do that, you can check that video, but that's not necessary anymore with this tool. So now let's go back to our assistant. I set the name to document assistant and I can set a description as well. So I can add, you are a helpful assistant that answers questions about the documents that the user upload. You will strictly answer based on the documents provided and not on your own knowledge. If the answer of the question is not in the documents provided, you will simply say that you do not know because your knowledge is limited to the documents provided by the user. Again, I use the model GPT-4 11.06 preview and enable retrieval. And now I can click on save 
and I can provide the documents right in the chat and ask questions about it. So let's try it out. Here I will upload the last press release of LVMH and I will upload it into a text format but you can also use PDF or DOCX and OpenAI just had some issues at the time of recording that should be fixed right now. That's why I was using text. So I can ask how many employees LVMH hired in 2022 and 2023 worldwide and in France. I will immediately get the response based on the documents. So if I check the document, I can see that the response is there as well. And that is correct. I can also see that it only answered for 2022 and just said that it doesn't actually know for 2023, which is exactly what I asked it to do. That can be really useful for any business that requires reading and analyzing huge documents. Finally, let's see how powerful GPT Vision is by a third example. I will try to not get too technical here because it's going to be about writing code. In my day to day life, I'm an Android developer and I was thinking, great, what if I provide an image file of an Android design and ask it to build the code for it using the latest technology? If that works, am I going to be replaced by ChatGPT? Let's see. So if I set the name of that assistant to Android Developer Assistant, and as the text, I will set the following. You're a principal Android developer with 10 years of experience. The user will send you images of designs and you will analyze these files to see the structure of the view and implement code with Jetpack Compose to build the views. Now let's find the design of an authenticated screen and see what it does. So it says that to proceed with Jetpack Compose view based on the design you have provided, I first need to analyze the image files you sent. Up to here, it's pretty good, I have to say, damn. Uh, so it says that it will open the file and process the image, and then it shows the image. That's pretty good. Now it says that the image has been loaded successfully and that it's a PNG file of a certain dimension. It even recognized that it's a mobile UI design. That's, that's starting to get really exciting. Um, however, I'm unable to visually inspect the content of the image directly in this environment to manually transcribe or describe the design for Jetpack Compose coding. Ah, we were so close. So it cannot transform into design as I have to write a textual description of the component. Ah, that's really sad. It was going to look really, really promising. Um, so yeah, we can change the prompt to the user will send you instructions about how the view will look like and you will call it in Jetpack Compose using the latest technology. And yeah, now it generates proper code. Uh, the, the quality is still not amazing, but it still does the job um, to create the view. I also created the view model. Yeah, I could add documents of specifications, for example, as PDF and ask it to do the job based on the text document. So yeah, that could work maybe, uh, but the image to code though would be, that would have been really amazing. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comment uh, what assistant would help you in your daily life or in your business. And I could build it and make a video about it. In the next videos, I will go deeper into the playground. So if you want to be informed about new videos, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching and see you in the next video.